Hey, Zubair. How are you? Thank you, man. How are you? I'm good. I can't see that. I know. Because you lit a fire in me from a previous discussion. <laughs> I a bet I shouldn't. About science. What do you want, science, man? Nothing. Really? Nothing. Uh, why? Nothing? Uh, yeah. Uh, you owe your life to, your, to science. I owe my life to science. That's another topic that we'll get into later. Uh, but I want to talk about the objectivity of science. Okay. It's... Objective. Sa it's, yeah, it says that it's objective. It is. And it says that it uh, is based on a standard that's universal. Everybody accepts you this universal standard. Yes, they do experiments, they do observations that everyone else could follow. So it's pretty clear that they are objective. No, they're not. You're mad. Let me give you an example. God help me. Okay, <laughs> ready? Yeah, go for it. Christopher Columbus. Who is he? He's a scientist. What did he do? He just found the United States, the America. He discovered America? Yeah. Okay. Were there people living there? What? Were there people living there before he went there? Yeah, I guess so. They some weird things and with some different f f color of face. Wow, racism, man. Okay, anyway, some weird colors and some headdresses. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, all right, I see. So, how, how, how do you name them, by the way? Uh, Native Americans. Native, um, oops. Not the redskins like uh, you might call them in other languages, but we call them Native Americans. Anyway. Really? Uh, that name can be problematic, too, but another issue. So, you said that Christopher There Columbus are Native Americans who were before Christopher Columbus. Okay, okay, let's continue. You said that Christopher Columbus discovered America. But now you suggest that there was some, there were some people who discovered America before then Christopher Columbus, right? What, exactly, what does discover mean? To find something that doesn't exist. Huh. Oops. Or to be the first person to step on an area that nobody else has stepped on. That Oops. no other human has stepped on. Oops, too. So what, what does that mean when you say Christopher Columbus discovered America? What does that uh, entail in its meaning? I hate you. Tell me what it entails. That is just the definition of being subjective. If I see you, that you exist. If I don't see you, that you don't. Are you basic? This, this is the definition of being subjective. Huh, because, good. So it's, it's uh, yeah, Christopher Columbus discovering America is a, my standard of what a human is. I didn't step on uh, since I didn't step on this, con this area before, I discovered it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can, we can go into the history. You know, in the past there was uh, discussions, debates, on whether those Native Americans were even human or not. That really? The yeah, yeah, the Europeans ha asked, are we able to marry these people? Man, are, are you serious? Of, of course. Oops. On top of that, the black people were considered only three-fifths of a human. A percentage. Yeah, yeah, they were not a full, a full human. These things are Ow! go back well into the history of uh, of the people who do science. Anyway, that's another thing. So, but what what we did here is we're imposing a certain standard. And you from Turkey, who discovered America in Turkish science books, science yeah, textbook history books based on science again? Who in your Turkish textbooks? Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus discovered America. Yep. That's what we're taught in America. That's what the people are taught all throughout the world. That's what the Native Americans are taught. Oof. Oops. Yeah. So it's making one's subjective standard universal. And opposing it as an objective thing. Yeah, it may, exactly. It's saying it's universal. I discovered America because I didn't step on it. Oops. You're just actually what Christopher Columbus did is show his ignorance. Nothing more than that. He was ignorant before that, and the Native Americans knew more than him about America. Anyway, second, uh, there you go. So, it's not objective. Given it, uh, another one, let's imagine that uh, my mother made a, a nice dinner. Really? For me, my brother. Am my I invited? And you can be invited. Yeah. Tell me how, since you're the one uh, who likes science. I'm the scientist, scientific guy. So, may, give me an objective description of the table that my mom uh, has prepared. 
Don't tell me how to make a description. I'm going to make my description. I'll Objective leave, or subjective? I'll leave it to you. Okay. So here is a green grate uh, thing cover on the table. On the, on the table. Yeah, tablecloth. Yeah, and we have a lot of plates that really matches the color of the uh, tablecloth. And we have a lot of beautiful um, meals, beautiful things to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there are uh, a lot of ser ser service things. Mm -hmm. I don't know the names of m much much of those, but they really look beautiful. They have some relations with those. For example, if I eat this before and eat then afterwards, it's going to be really easy for me to digest it. Hmm. And at, at, Nutritional at, at, value yeah. and everything else you go into. Okay, so it's basically great. And you know what's about it? If I bring another scientist, it's mm -hmm. going to probably make the same measurements or comments that I just did. Why are you looking at me like that? Now ask my mom why she did it. Hate you. <laughs> Why? What, what, what would she say? <laughs> the scientist she probably is, she's going to say that I used that ta tablecloth be because the other was uh, was the dirty, and I, I used those plates because the uh, I just broke the other ones, and you I just prepared this meal because you love it. Yeah. Or even more so, let's be a little it, bit nice. Just, just a mess. Let's be a little bit nice to my mom. The plate that she decided to use, we bought together 10 years ago, and I really like the plates, and so it brings back memories from back then. I didn't thought that complicated, but yeah, that could be the thing. Huh. What, you, what, you show, what you're showing then is that you really have no idea why these things happen, and your whole objectivity is completely meaningless if you don't <sighs> recognize who the mother is and why she did it. The scientists can't say anything. I am just setting my... Standards of being objective. Yeah, you're imposing your standard of subjectivity and making it universal, thereby calling it objective, on my mother. Oppressor. Is what it, that, that's what you are. I'm going to kill him after the recording. See you next time. Thank you. Have a good day. Not you. <laughs>